Hey guys and welcome. All right, so if you're tuning in at four, you're probably expecting a live stream right now. And to be honest with you, I mowed the grass this weekend and uh, my voice is not going to hold up. In fact, this is like the third or fourth take. I've tried doing this and I keep having a coughing fit, so I stop and restart the video. So I'm going to try making it through. We're going to power through together and we're going to get through this. The topic today is, so you want to be an SIS expert. So right out of the gate, with that being said, this is coming from a district manager that contacted me last week and said, Dave, I've got this new hire. I want them to be the SIS expert for my district. Can you help them out? Sure, great. Let's get this going. So I decided to shoot a video to be a little more po on point with what we're trying to talk about. And so out of the gate, SIS expert probably would engender thoughts of being some kind of a computer whiz. Don't have to be. Uh, computers are going to be one of those things that I can probably in 10 minutes show you everything you need to know about the computer parts. Uh, but the biggest part is is understanding the customer that we're talking to or the, if this is going to be a good fit for them or not. So saying that to say this, the reason SIS is a thing is because SIS provides the documentation that a collision center needs in order to get paid. Uh, I use the example frequently of a small engine shop. I've got a lawnmower and I'm needing the oil changed, I need belts and I need um, I need a drive belt and I need the blade sharpened. In that repair shop level, I would be fully expecting when I get my bill to be on a, one, a single piece of paper saying, all right, we change the oil, we put a new drive belt on and we sharpen the blades for you. When you get an insurance company involved, they want documentation to back up everything that you, you have on that bill. Uh, we need to know the exact viscosity of that oil. Uh, we need to know uh, how old the drive belt was when you pulled it off the shelf. Is it six months, a year, two years old? Uh, you know, the blades, you sharpened them. Okay, great. What angle? Uh, I mean, what for pristine cutting capability, would, were they ground to a certain tolerance? I you know, you, you can kind of make a silly example out of this, but the reality is is that insurance companies have made the collision repair industry very complicated, and it's very document-oriented. So if a collision shop writes an estimate, and that's the, uh, that's the guess of what it's going to take to repair the car, is that I walk out and I have my notepad, have my camera, and I'm writing down, it's like, yep, yep, it needs a fender, needs this, needs this, needs this. Before you get paid for that, you need documentation that you actually ordered those parts, received those parts, and put those on the car or on the truck or whatever it is. Uh, the worth items are the same way. The, if you're going to replace the uh, fender liner and put uh, fender liner clips on it, you need to know, it's like, okay, we put 18 fender liner clips, and here's the worth part number that goes with that, and here's the worth receipt to match up what we're charging for it. And it's where SIS really helps that collision shop start getting paid for the stuff that they historically give away. So already we're talking about something different, and we haven't even really kind of gotten into the computer side of this. It's a very easy way to get paid for stuff. So you want to be an SIS expert. That's the first thing you need to get your head wrapped around is that the SIS is not a complex computer programmer that a uh, program that requires somebody with an MBA in computer science to be able to understand it's can you get on the website can you print a receipt can you make a receipt and then can you print a receipt and it's really about 99 percent of what you need to know how to do the next thing is is that understanding how worth fits into the what I call the hierarchy of vendors in a shop now when I say that, I kind of, I'm saying it tongue in cheek, is that worth is a very important component in the in the shop itself, but we're not the most important vendor in any shop. I'm going to say I say that to say this: uh, when it comes to sheer dollars that a that a shop is going to spend on anything in particular, usually your number one and number two, depending on you know a lot of variables, there is always going to be your paint and then your aftermarket sheet metal. 
and each of those those vendors uh, have a limited number of places that they can go to get it. So, say for example, I'm a Dupont. I, I, my shop loves to shoot Dupont paint, and Dupont paint has one rep in my area, maybe two, but rarely, if ever, any more than that. So if I really like DuPont Paint, that's the company I'm going to have to buy it from because that's what that's what they sell. Same thing with aftermarket sheet metal. I, I really like, um, I think Keystone is one of them. Keystone uh, aftermarket sheet metal or Crash Parts or, you know, whatever the one is and that you're familiar with, there's only maybe two, maybe three that you can really get dependable service from. Um, but when it comes to clips and fasteners, it's a little bit different. I always joke that we were we're somewhere right around where the the guy that fills the the uh, the bandage box in the break room. We know we're we, you know we fight we jockey for that position, and that's it's kind of say that, but it's a little bit serious about it because we do tend to uh, fight for that uh, for that level. So I'm right around six or seven, but uh, it's a difficult situation sometimes to be in because the fastener that we sell is nearly identical to the fastener that is being sold by a guy that's selling it out of the back of his Honda Accord. Nothing against that. If they, I mean, he can make a living doing that, great, go for it. But there's very little to know of a quality difference there. And uh, so they're kind of it's like, okay, well, what makes worth different? Well, it's a program like SIS that does set us apart. The fact that we are really coming into the shop. And, and if you've been through Worth Training, you know what I'm talking about. That uh, we push that there's a lot of benefits to being for Worth. A lot of our quality and, uh, superiority is in, uh, in other things. But when it comes to clips and fasteners, there's a, not a whole lot of difference between what we're selling and what somebody else is selling. And to avoid being in that, uh, in that price fight, and, you know, where, when you're just selling on price uh, and we all of a sudden become a commodity at that point, it's like, okay, who's got the lowest price and that's the company we're going to go with, you need a game changer. And this is where SIS comes in. This is that SIS is that game changer. Because if if I'm, let's say that we have a clip that, or a, please, a piece of plastic that we sell that is a dollar a piece. I'm just using round numbers here. And my competitor can come in and sell it for 95 cents a piece. Then I'm going to go with a competitor. But wait, what if I could show you a way that you could take that dollar fastener and turn it into, sell it at a retail price of $2 a piece? And sometimes you'll have the, the shop owner that gets it, the radar antenna goes up. It's like, oh, really? Tell me more. And that's where SIS comes in. If you want to be the SIS expert in the shop, understanding that you buy low and you sell high. And that's what SIS does, is it gives you that ability to get that receipt to be able to justify that you, you put a $2 fastener on that car, and that $2 fastener is what you're going to charge the insurance company. You have documentation. So if you're understanding that we're not the, the most important vendor, we will never out... Um, Take, uh, take out the DuPont paint company, and we're never going to take after the, the sheet metal people. We're going to be somewhere down three to five, somewhere in that ballpark, uh, in, the sh in the shop for supplies, whatever that category is. And we can you know work on getting higher up the list. And being that SIS expert is where it comes in. So now we've talked about the, the understanding of where we fit, Let's start talking a little bit about the SIS itself and how there are things that you can do as the SIS expert in order to really get somebody interested in what this program does. All right, so we're in the SIS. Log in here to the SIS program. It's the first time I've logged in with this computer. That's the purpose of that. I've got uh, an invoice here that I created at the, earlier in the month. That's uh, eight six. It's got a dollar sixty worth of stuff on it, and that's really not a very. It's one faster. So let's let's say we actually use twelve of these. Yeah, get that number up just a little bit. We got nineteen dollars and twenty cents worth of fasteners. 
if you as the SIS expert for your district can come into this screen and show a potential client that this is going to be their navigation, this is where the money is, and be able to click this checkbox and click print, you're 99% of the way there. Standard is what we want to see. And there's our receipt. It's all the information that they need. That's the job number, has an invoice number, who it was sold to, and our quantity and price in $19.20. Now you have the receipt. If you want to go to the next level and start talking about CCC, that's going to be a topic for another discussion. But this right here is when I was a, a an SIS tech and I was traveling a lot more than I and I do these days, is that I had a, a whole book of that what I call the a, that's the AB clip assortment. I carried a barcode scanner with me, and then I also carried um, some sample invoices. And so I would take this uh, out and say, look, you can, you know, here's a barcode. Here's pictures. Pictures do a lot, is that you can show what an assortment looks like. And so here's, here's an assortment. Here's where, how the barcode. And I did this all with a three-ring binder. I never pulled my laptop out. So I would go in, I would set the scanner down in front of them and say, here, this is the tool. And sometimes I, I always used it as a, a gauge to see if they were interested in what I was talking about. You can do your phone. Phone works too. Uh, but Mr. Customer, we have this phone app, and this allows you to start getting paid for stuff historically body shops give away. You log in, you scan the barcode. You can do whatever you want. It's... Uh, Scan with the phone app. There's my fastener that I used. And with that, you can then pull out a piece of paper in your three-ring binder, and this is what it looks like. If you have CCC, the right version of CCC, great. Now you're definitely hooking it up is, is that this is also integrated with CCC. Uh, we can get into a lot more of those types of discussions later with later videos because I really feel my voice going. But... I really wanted to kind of get a primer going here of what it is to be an SIS expert. It is not some, you know, some pencil neck, uh, uh, pencil neck, what's the phrase? It's not the, um, the um, pocket protector type uh, people, that the nerds that we uh, I grew up with. It's the, it's the folks that are just normal folks. They're, they're just the ones that, that with the ability to go into a shop and say, Mr. Customer, you need this program. You need this program because this program will give you that ability to start getting paid. And if you can start getting paid, then, you know, that fastener that is five cents cheaper for my competitor, so I'm making money on everything that I'm doing and my competitor is not producing any kind of, a, of an integration like that or any kind of a way to get paid that is as easy as what SIS is. Doesn't come with the support that SIS comes with. Doesn't come with the backing that SIS comes with. Doesn't come with a lot of the other benefits that it comes to understanding how the, we do participate in the collision industry in a way that a lot of our other competitors out there just don't. And I want you that if you're, ta if you're watching this video to this point and you're wanting to be the SIS expert, I encourage you to talk to a collision center. Talk to, I always use the example of, a, of a, I had a friend of mine that owns a collision center, and that guy became my best friend in understanding what SIS is and does. And any time that we had an, had an idea, I would always run it past him. And it's like, all right, we're thinking about doing this. And he would always shoot me straight. It's like, yeah, that's a great idea, or, mm, that's, you know, here's, here's some things to think about. So anyway, I'll go ahead and end it here because I do feel my voice slipping away, and I apologize for the raspiness. But uh, if you have questions, feel free to give me a call. The number is 1-800-864-6561, or you can reach out to me on my cell phone. That's area code 865-310-4880. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.